good company now, but uh, I'm going to add to it that it's nice to have uh, a, a pretty lady uh, make the uh, <laughs> the announcement and the breakdown of each wine uh, while while they're being poured. So I'm going to introduce my wife, Alex Papadopoulos. <laughs> so much for attending. This is such a, a lovely, lovely gathering in a beautiful place among amazing surroundings. I told my daughters I may never come home, so I've already <laughs> warned them. <laughs> the first wine that we are going to taste is our 2017 Chardonnay. <clears throat> this particular wine is aged for one year in neutral French oak barrels, which are three years old. Yes, they're neutral, but that barrel also gives it an idea of a little bit of character without being overwhelming. This Chardonnay that you will be tasting is kosher for Passover. You're going to experience some rich fruit notes of tropical fruit, such as pineapple, honeydew melon, perhaps tangerine right up front. And it's gonna be followed by hints of toffee and hazelnut. So we're interested in what you think with this. There are some uh, crackers and things on the table and water to cleanse the palate in between. So please enjoy our 2017 Chardonnay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
which means that the grapes were crushed and pressed immediately after harvest. They spent no time on their skins, like a typical grape is processed, like the red grape. This wine is aged in stainless steel, and this is what contributes to its clean and bright taste. It's considered a semi-dry rosé, and you will experience flavors of strawberry jam and chocolate cherry and spice, followed by ultra smooth, crisp, and refreshing flavor. So enjoy it. Thank you. Katie. Yes, indeed. Katie. 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 Oh, nice. 
Thank you. You thought that I could have been one of their You went through the AOTS like I did about the The last week of your training, you became the candidate officer. Yeah, we're going to be running from Henry Fox, 21st Drive, which is our Cabernet Sauvignon, 2017. also kosher for Passover. It's our red kosher. The Cabernet Sauvignon is aged in medium toast and neutral French oak barrels with a heavy berry nose. It's a very rich, very bold wine. Fruit forward flavors of juicy blackberry and black raspberry are present. Raspberry jam, Followed by hints of French vanilla, spice, and toasted coconut. It's a full body Cabernet Sauvignon. It has rich and powerful fruit flavors. And tannins are present in the, in the finish, but they're not harsh or bitter because of the age. Enjoy. This is a beautiful, beautiful red. And it goes great with brisket. I'm sorry. Is it a Louis <laughs> Is it 100% capsule? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Do this, do this, do this, lift off. Right. <laughs> he never, the only, only, the only time, the only time he flew out was when he Like just flips it, and comes down and, and, and you know, doesn't even go to the end of the runway. Puts it down on the runway and literally. We got it in there. We put the hangar plane in. We had four or five people in the room. We got it in yeah no well I'm just saying I knew how quick that thing was going to hit us and I didn't see it coming I'm like you know, two different worlds are so funny. Chuck, we're flying along, and I'm flying. He's got the, he's got the iPad. And he was so sleep more than he was awake. You know, he's got the iPad. And he's got the iPad. And he's got the iPad. I think it's because as the landscape changes, you need to shift weight without Right, so if you get a change in the topography of the boat, or if you get stuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Well, you know, we really didn't see it. Basically, the controller told me you're not where you said you were. I will give up my seat. I have more wine. What I'm scared about is it's nighttime over there and daytime over there. Well, I didn't get it. On the 787, they got those tinting windows. I said, truly. There was, she thought that one window had just a unique sunlight into it. Really. And I had to, you know, one of those things, it's like, I'm surprised she didn't get Google out and go, you know, check her husband out. I finally go, push, push, push. I said, push this, I said, push this freaking button. It's gonna get. Finally, 10 minutes later, a button push. And she was like, oh, I guess so this is no, this is beer that you were on. So you can drink this wine. Oh no, I no, it's not that big. I mean, you know, I like to see my butt. You can a lot of things. Yeah. Okay. I know what you're trying to do. Don't worry, I'll be there for you. Sit down. Sit down. Right? Are you coming in? Right, what I'm saying is, I could do it here and we can do it here and have our first glass of wine and then we're going all the way by the same. I don't think I can do it all the time. Well, my point is, I would have to do one glass and then I'm going Thank you. Cheers. Well, you'll have to come up and yeah. try that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've done that to you where you start yeah. in Arlington. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
a brighter red, ruby in color, and the tawny port has that brown color. Both of them have a sweet taste, both of them. However, the ruby ports have a more fruity, berry flavor, while the tawny, tawny ports have a, a nuttier, caramel flavor, if you will. <clears throat> ruby ports do not need to be aged for long periods of time, which is great news. <laughs> where the tawny ports are considered the aged ports. What you're having this evening is the Ariadne 2014, which is considered a ruby red port. Hence the beautiful, beautiful color that you see. Ariadne is, is, it is considered the ruby red and it's been aged in barrel for over 10 years. The, ours is, is aged in over five years, but ruby reds in general are aged over 10. <clears throat> Ours is rich in a aged in a retired whiskey barrel, and you will note flavors of rich blackberry, black raspberry, followed by decadent dark chocolate. Oh yeah! How can you go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> it's rich, it's sweet, and it's smooth, just like my husband. <laughs> Rich dessert, and I will share with you that our uh, our port style is 75% Chamberson and 25% Cabernet Sauvignon. And what is interesting is, if you'll think about it, since last night you've tasted various variations of Chamberson, which is a Virginia grape. You tasted a strong red, a, a bold, a bold rosé. You tasted the. Chamberson wine on its own. The, and now tonight you're having it in the port style. So it, it runs a variety of flavors if you know how to make good It's very versatile. Very yeah. versatile. Yeah. Enjoy everyone. Thank you for your attention. Yeah. <laughs> 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 